Um, I designed the Croft House, which is near Phillip Island in Victoria. It's on a pretty exposed part of the coastline that faces east, so the winds blow offshore there, which makes it a bit easy because you can just face the view and have the wind behind you. The way it came about was I was there for three days and I didn't mind being embarrassing myself by looking like an idiot walking around and looking confused. So I pretty much just did that and I knew the I was there with the owners and we were staying there in the old uh, place that was there and uh, and I knew they were worried about me. <laughs> But on the third day of looking silly and wandering around thinking, uh, I realised that a very unique thing was happening there where the, where the trees were all bending towards the ocean. So the wind was coming from behind. And so a scheme really needed to put its jacket up to the collar up to the wind and protect itself in that way. Um, the idea of a courtyard house was a pretty good model because you could make a protected it place. And so there was a few experiments of, um, can I do a courtyard house that uh, doesn't have redundant space in long corridors, doesn't have the double-headed blinkers, because the courtyard house is giving you this, you know, shuts off all of that. Can I taper it off and just make it disappear? Hollow out the ends, you know, maybe a bathroom would work well in the end. Sure enough, it did work well. Um, so, I understand that it seems that this is a complete thing that's been placed and then the owners have had to somehow find a way of living in this form. <laughs> but it didn't evolve that way. I mean, sure enough, as that shape evolved, there was long bananas, squashed up kind of sea cucumbers. There was, you know, until it was practical. So. It started as a um, uh, exercise in passive solar for sure, and the owners don't use any heating or any cooling, and um, that works by having a lot of um, thermal mass for thermal inertia and well uh, insulated. And I think the form probably does a little bit for wind chill. These forms probably do a lot to shoot the breeze over and not really take the heat out of the building, and that was. Uh, part of the looking at the croft houses, hundreds of year old croft houses on the north of Scotland, the ground hugging things. Um, so, uh, this landscape's evolving in a certain way with erosion, the ge geology, fertility of the ground, the winds, and rain. So, what if this architecture was to look at these natural systems and try and work in with them and to have them generate the architecture? So, a superhouse to me um, steps away from convention and in a way it's almost endemic, it's evolved in a place. Those kind of qualities I think we all innately really enjoy because if we go travelling it's those, oh look at how these guys are living here, you know that kind of uniqueness and it's not to say the generic modernism isn't exciting too and doesn't have a role to play, but me personally, I'm interested in how it's twisted and, and evolved and um, part of the system of a place, culturally and physically.